Hi. Um, well, we're, we're near the end of this residency and I'm starting to get a little flustered. <laughs> so I thought I would talk about it. I feel like I've chosen a topic that's enormous. <laughs> and I could go into, you know, a bunch of different directions. Um, some books on it and the books um, outline like different things that I could look up and look into and I'm like wow there's so much more than I anticipated and I want to know everything before I even start and that's not that's not good for this particular project so <laughs> um, this this could last a you know months and years even uh, and uh, it's just it's just a week so I gotta shrink it down somehow um, but the the residency has helped me explore the topic and see how much more how much more depth there is to it um, and it's pretty cool um, and it makes me want to try uh, using different mediums other than visual arts to express it um, maybe like installation arts like poetry uh, maybe uh, performance um, maybe involving more people like having a I've done, uh, I'm very comfortable with improvisation and like collaborative um, art making. So I've, I've done improv for 10 years. I did uh, swing dancing for 10 years as well, uh, consequently. Um, and these are, these are group activities where you, where you work with others to create something and there's something really cool about that. And um, because disability is so there's a plurality of different types of experience there, right? Uh, I could talk about my perspectives, but um, we could go on and on about different types and different things. And I realize, like, every time I try to make something, I'm like, oh, okay, but this reflects this experience, but not this one, and uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, because there's so few little content out there, I feel like anything I make is like a statement and I don't like that I don't like that like I'm not a spokesperson you know what I mean it's not <laughs> this is not the official stuff of the, of the the thing it's just the stuff that exists right now and you know I, I want it to be a conversation it's like well what do you think kid you know so that's um that's something new for me and I have received um speaking of that yeah. I have received a lot of um um feedback from people answering my questions Really made me think about different avenues and different things and uh, it's been really fascinating to listen to your stories as well so some of the things that were shared um, for example were um, just just seeing like on TV uh, or, or movies or whatever a, just a normal person with a disability going to work having a Starbucks going on a date just just some basic stuff <laughs> not being like a minor character just like being a lead character and having like depth to them and and just being um just just doing ordinary things like not being some extraordinary uh you know expiring person or or some person of great tragedy you know just just a, just a normal everyday life you know just so happen to have a disability sort of thing so that was that was pretty popular um some other things were about like portray that right because especially in art I find that a bit complicated uh, I haven't quite figured out how I how to do that um, I feel like maybe installation art would be more appropriate and there's like a different experiences and I can but I, I'm, I'm not very familiar with that I feel like I want help with that and that would be really something in the future that I would love to do um, what else there was um, oh yeah there was a uh, always certain certain types of disabilities right like it's always the the wheelchair like we it's like almost we're saturated with it and I think that has to do with the symbol of accessibility which is that little uh, wheelchair man you know with the little thing for parking it, it doesn't mean wheelchair it means accessibility and uh, I think that's kind of why they're the, the poster child uh, <laughs> you know and um, yeah there's just so many things uh, I need, I need definitely need to shrink this topic down. So, I, uh, I, I, I do welcome your feedback.
feedback and um, I love to um, be able to represent some some of the things that you talk about and maybe we can work together on on, on things and uh, I hope you have a great day and um, I guess what would uh, something I'd like you to think about maybe is um, what's what's important to you um, in in uh, in seeing disability represented you know like what um, what are the the stories that you've seen because there are there are things in the media that are, that are good um, the, the positive examples like if there are in your experience that you've seen them um, or or something similar maybe not necessarily disability but something a story that kind of already exists um, that could be applied to disability so for example um, I think of uh, other minorities like um, uh, the LGBTQ uh, society like well, I don't know how long it's been now that they've been on TV like just shown on TV like that's relatively new uh, you know I think it's maybe 90s or so where they started making some appearances and it was like oh it's a big shock like wow there's a person there and it was just a, a either just one <laughs> person or just like a minor character finally had like their own show or something it was just them that they ever saw so and now you know say 10 20 years later like we have more depth in the characters there's more diversity in the characters you know that sort of thing so that's just an example but um maybe maybe there's something particular you guys are thinking of and i'd, I'd love to hear it have a great day bye